In the year 636, the continuation of history's greatest empire, the Eastern Roman Empire, would be pitched into battle against the newly formed Rashidun Caliphate. In this battle near the Yarmouk River of Mesopotamia, the Romans would suffer a shocking defeat, a defeat that would mark the end of Roman power in the Middle East and would begin a near 100-year period of territorial evaporation at the hands of the caliphates. But why? Why did the Romans lose to the Muslims? <laughs> Prior to the Battle of Yarmouk, the Roman Empire had been engaged in a multi-decade war with their rivals of the Sassanid Empire, known as the Last Great War of Antiquity. This war was incredibly draining financially and militarily for both empires, leading to the Romans being ill-equipped to fend off the relentless and steadfast armies of the Rashidun Caliphate. On top of being materially drained from the war, mentally the Romans were exhausted from the conflict which at one point had the Sassanid Empire seize the holiest relic in all of Christendom, the True Cross, and put their capital of Constantinople to siege. Within the Eastern Roman Empire, there existed a religious tension between the Miaphysite Copts of Egypt and the Orthodox Church, who deemed them heretics. This tension often forced Roman emperors to navigate a delicate balance between seeking religious compromise with the Copts and occasionally resorting to persecuting them. During the reign of Emperor Heraclius, the Orthodox Church intensified its persecution of the Copts. Consequently, when the Muslims arrived in the mid-600s, some Copts and eventually the entirety of Egypt would pledge their loyalty to the Caliphate. The loss of Egypt would be catastrophic for the Romans, as the region served as the empire's breadbasket. Without Egypt, the empire faced significant challenges in providing adequate food for its citizens and soldiers. In the 6th century during the reign of Emperor Justinian, vast amounts of the empire's resources were spent on reconquering parts of the former Western Roman Empire. These efforts evaporated the imperial treasury and the empire's manpower. In return for these efforts, the empire acquired new borders to defend against the barbarians of Western Europe, leading to more resources and manpower being spent on a region that provided little value to the empire, as it had been thoroughly ravaged by decades of war. So when the Rashidun Caliphate invaded the Roman Middle East, the Romans were only able to use their regional troops, and when they finally assembled troops from across the empire to deal with the caliphate, it was too late. A few decades before the Islamic invasions, the Eastern Roman Empire suffered a devastating plague known as the Justinian Plague. The severity of the plague varies from historian to historian, but on the high end, it is estimated to have killed 15 million people. The effects of the plague were swift and destructive, with death, famine, and high inflation becoming the only certainties in life. The areas hit hardest by this plague were the provinces closest to the Arabian Peninsula, such as Egypt and Syria. With a declining population, the empire had a smaller pool of soldiers to draw upon, making it more difficult for the Roman Empire to hold on to their territories due to imperial overreach. <laughs> 